Hey guys, this uh, lesson's on more vectors and learning um, about directional vectors and stuff like that. So let's look at, let's say we have uh, two vectors, vector A and equals vector B. So let's just look at a problem like this. Um, first of all, let's just give A some arbitrary number. So let's say vector A equals 1 x, uh, 1 in the x component, 2 in the y component, and 3 in the z component. So naturally, since a equals b, b has to equal 1, 2, and 3, just like a. So we want to know, um, can the directions be different for this? Um, and uh, the answer is uh, no, because if a is 1 on the x direction, two on the y direction, and I'm not really going to draw the z, so let's just pretend it's just the s and x and the y for now, then that has to equal that. And if this is also 1 and 2, then b will also point the same direction. So a and b will have the same uh, direction. And the next uh, question is, will they have the same magnitude? So basically, will a mag equal B mag, and um, it's also a yes because if we uh, the way we find the magnitude is with Pythagorean's theorem, so we'll just find the Pythagorean's theorem of this plus one, two squared plus three squared, and one squared plus two squared plus three squared, and so here's the Pythagorean theorem of a, and here it it is of b. So, um, uh, you really don't have to multiply this out to see that they are going to be equal. So, the, um, the magnitudes will be equal. Um, and the last question will be, uh, will the directions point the same way? And, um, so, we know the direction for A will be A hat, and B will be B hat. And, uh, essentially, uh, remember the direction vector is the regular vector over the magnitude and same with B well same with all of them not just B and um, since we know that the magnitudes are the same like we said right here that they're gonna have the same denominator and since the vectors are the same so they're gonna have the same uh, numerator so uh, naturally these will be equal and the directional vectors will equal the same thing. That's the figure of that. So let's say we have another problem. I guess not a problem, just kind of a, a thinking thing. Um, say we have a vector 2, 4, and negative 3 from the origin. And say we have another one that's 4, 8, and negative 6 from the origin. And we want to figure out as much as possible. So, um, first of all, uh, um, so an easy way of looking at this is um, you can clearly see that this is going to be divided by, or this one is this, or uh, this one is this one divided by 2. So, uh, we can write, uh, we'll call this um, R A, and we'll call this one R B. So, um, we know that R A, oops, that kind of big, is R B divided by two, because we know that we can uh, divide a vector uh, by a scalar and it'll equal a vector. And when you divide it by a scalar, it's just going to be you divide this by two, this by two, and this by two. And when you divide all these by two, it equals that. So that's what that'll equal. Um, and an important concept to realize also is that uh, if you took the magnitude of all of these, that um, the magnitude, I won't do all the math, but um, you can do it and you can see that this is true, that if you take the magnitude of RA and the magnitude of RB, RB, um, it'll, be, it'll work the same way. RA, will, uh, the magnitude of RA will equal the magnitude of RB over 2. And um, 
that's another way, uh, another important thing to think about it. Um, a another kind of way uh, or interesting way to think about it is if you take the direction, all derivative, and uh, excuse me, all right, sorry. This uh, they will not. It'll it'll won't work the same way. It won't work like this. And um, the reasoning behind that is that they uh, point the same direction. That um, the magnitude of all r hats or, or all uh, directional derivatives is always going to be one. So. Um, these, since these are uh, pointing the same way, as you can see, because they're like that, since they're like pointing the same way, even even though this is twice as big, the directional derivative is still the magnitude of it is always going to be one. So the directional derivatives will just look like this, and so um, it won't look like that. The directional derivatives will equal each other. It won't be this over two, and those are just some um, important uh, concepts of um, directional derivatives and uh, vectors in um, general. So um, I hope you've learned uh, from this. Uh, if you need, have any more questions, uh, send me a message, and I'll get back to you really quick. And I guess I'll just see you next lesson.